Christian, welcome to Singapore again. It's a real pleasure to be here in Singapore and to present you the novelties in this beautiful environment. We are going to start with what is uh, ultimately the signature of the house, particularly this uh, chronograph that I hear so much about. So maybe we can get started. Well, my pleasure. It's important to have a chronograph, which is a very already used uh, complication in the watchmaking industry. But we wanted to have something which is really a, a grand second. And uh, of course, the grand second is always off-centered uh, hours and minutes. And uh, the complication, the challenge we had was to have all the indication of the chronograph and the, the retrograde second and the minute uh, counter in the same line. But as you can see, the result is very important also. The shape and the all uh, uh, balance is very important. It's a monopusher chronograph and uh, with a vertical clutch and, uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, column wheel and silicone escapement. A limited edition of 88 pieces. Right. We wanted to have it uh, with, a, I would say, more uh, uh, classic way to present the crown. But also, in steel, we introduced an unlimited uh, model with three different colors. This is the blue one I chose for, for you, with an off-center uh, crown, monopusher, which is very interesting also to see that when we turn a little bit uh, the crown, uh, the two counters are a little bit moving, but also it adds a special rhythm in all the uh, presentation of the watch. It's absolutely beautiful, and uh, as you mentioned before, it has been very well received. So moving on from what is completely a new animation to the uh, family of watches, you have something that looks a little familiar. The dual time is, uh, uh, it was introduced as a complication, which is a useful complication. We, we didn't have it before 2014 in the Grand Seconde, uh, uh, but uh, this year we wanted to have a new, new dial, uh, specifically a new disc here. Uh, showing that uh, uh, all the details of the map mode. I think the readability is, is better now. And also, uh, in terms of style, it's just absolutely incredible. I chose this one with the Onyx dial because I really like the fact that it is really on top of the watch, very minimalistic. And down, you have all, uh, at 6 o'clock, you have all the indication of time and also of uh, the second time zone and uh, the date, sorry. Well, moving on from what is chic, this is where Jacques Hedro really plays with the boundaries of Grand Second. Uh, tell us a little about this uh, execution of the skeleton wine. I, say, I think you really said the, the most important. We really play with the boundaries, but we really always respect the identity of the Grand Second. This is very important for Jacques Hedro. We could start perhaps with the back. Uh, the back is absolutely amazing. It's an automatic skeleton. It is called the Skelet One. Last year we introduced a version with a black uh, strap and black uh, uh, ceramic uh, case and gold on the crown on the hand. And this year we wanted to have also a version with blue. Blue is a new black, so <laughs> it's important to also to have this version. Uh, brilliantly done on building a foundation. That's right, uh, but I think where Jacques Hedro really shows off ultimately is your automaton. We wanted to create an automaton which is uh, zen, uh, where it's very calm, and uh, also let us think about uh, the life and what we are doing on Earth, and uh, to be young, to be uh, motivated, and to be, become mature. And uh, the way how we have done it uh, is, uh, of course, by using all our craftsmanship know-how. Uh, all our eight artists have worked on this complication. It's, uh, it's uh, also it's also a story about uh, creativity and create something completely new with new four, uh, with four new patents. And uh, it's the most complicated uh, dial we have ever done. Uh, as you can see, each detail has been worked uh, very closely. So we call it Magic Lotus Automaton because the magic flower uh, is turning around uh, the dial. Uh, the same for the, cap, um, for the koi. But the magic uh, lotus, the center of the flower is changing the color from blue to yellow and to red. And this is magic, and so that's the reason why we, we choose this, this, this name. And it has a four minutes uh, power oh, reserve. That's fantastic. Of, uh, yes, of, of uh, power reserve for the automaton, which is also displayed, the, pow the power reserve indicator is the dragonfly you can see here, which is going to go on the leaf uh, green here. You know, Jacques Hedro has always been inspired by the nature. 
since the beginning, birds, butterflies, flowers, has always inspired Pierre Jacques Edrault. And this is part of our values. And this is today why we continue to create this kind of pieces with a lot of nature. And you can see also part of our history also is the shape of the, of the crystal, which allow us to really have the impression that the flower is coming out of the, of, of the watch. And this is a really a special effect we give to our piece of art.